Hey guys, so today I'm here for another Top 5 Wednesday video, and today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is Top 5 Books That You Would Recommend to a New Reader. This was actually really hard for me because it honestly depends on the person. Like, I have friends that I'll recommend certain books to, but I would never recommend them to a different friend because, um... I know that that friend won't like that type of book, so it really depends. I tried to kind of vary and pick books from different genres and just that had different elements to them or like just a lot of the elements that would help a new reader figure out what they like in a book, like if they like more action, more romance, contemporary, just stuff like that. And then I have two honorable mentions and I, I picked new readers as in like my age new readers because if it were like new readers, new readers like children. I would have picked like Junie B. Jones or Magic Treehouse or something like that. These are books you've seen me mention a lot and the fact is I've lent out these books a lot to a lot of different people because they're books that I just recommend on the spot. When somebody asks me like what books would you recommend, these are a few of them. Of course I will be missing some of the other ones but I figure that those ones are a little bit more intense for a new reader if that makes any sense. I don't know. This is just how I figured it out, so let's get started. The first book I would recommend is Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins, this entire series. I love this series. It is a good mix. It, it introduces you to witchcraft books, and it has romance, but it has action, and it has, you know, fantasy elements and magic and all those things. So I figured it was a really good mix, and it's so funny and well-written. The main character is so sarcastic. This is just a fantastic book, and I always lend it out when somebody asks me, what book should I read next? This is what I say. Then is another series that you see me talk about a lot on this channel, and that is I Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You, the Gallagher Girl series by Ali Carter. Anything by Ali Carter, really, but I picked this one specifically, the series specifically. It just, it's great because it's about spies, so, but it can't be really considered contemporary because it is supposed to be set in, like, our time with contemporary issues and stuff, but it's about spies, so I wouldn't really call it contemporary, but it's just so much fun. Like, this, and what would be great about this is that the series starts off pretty light, so the reader can get used to the world and, you know, trivial problems, really. And then it gets darker, and so as the series gets darker, and after you've read this series, you can continue on to other books that might have uh, darker themes or, like, are more intense. Um, like, I don't know, Divergent and the Legend series. I'd say those are a little bit more darker themed than a lot of other books, which is why I didn't include them in this. But that was just my personal opinion. And so then, you know, you could tackle those books. That's just, that was my reasoning for it. Then I want to mention... And all these are... are the reason I didn't mention this one first is because it was underneath the other pile of books because this was the first one I thought of. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling in general. Like, I... This is an obvious one. I mean, it has a perfect mix of, like, romance and action and magic and just everything you could want and to just grow with these characters. And this is just the perfect series. Like, if you had to start with a series, this would be it. Like, it just... And again, with this series, it starts off lighter in the beginning and then it gets way darker as the series continues. And just... I love this series so much. Then is another one I talk about a lot on my channel. The books I talk about a lot on my channel are the ones I'd recommend to new readers, really. They just have everything that a new reader would want in a book, and that is The Lightning Thief, which is basically the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I just... This is great, because what happens is you can start out with these, and these ones are when they're younger. These are, like, 12 when they're about 12. Same with Harry Potter. It starts out when they're younger, like 12, and then with the spin-off series of this one, you know, they're older, and so you can grow with the characters, and I just think that's so cool. And same with Harry Potter, you grow with those characters. And the last book I want to mention is one I haven't talked about on my channel. Surprise, right? <laughs> and that is the Vanished uh, series. Actually, it's the 1-800-Where-Are-You series by Meg Cabot. I love these books because they are kind of contemporary, but they have some supernatural, like, fantastical elements in them, uh, in these books. There's five books in the series, and I just, I love these books. This one has the first two books in it, then I have the other one that has the third and the fourth book, and then I had to buy the other one separately because it didn't come in, like, a 
matching one but you know what I sacrificed matching because the books are so good they're like amazing I love the character because she's so funny and witty and there's a cute guy in it and that little bit of romance but then there's like I don't know it's just it's a really really good place to start I love this series okay and so those are my top five but I have two more I'm gonna sneak in there cuz you know I like to cheat on the the first one I'm gonna mention is the Frog Princess series by Edie Baker I can only vouch for the first four because I haven't read the last four which I want to do soon but I love these books because even if you aren't in lower school elementary school middle school high school I'm in high school and I read these okay they, they're just they're so good they're just so good because they're like fairy tales but then they're like twist on a fairy I just I can't even explain how much I love these books and I can't I just so good so good and then the last one I'm cheating with is the mother daughter book club uh, series by Heather Vogel Frederick it's just a great contemporary series and you know books play a major role in this series and there's a character for everyone to relate to it's just it's just great so yes those were the books I chose for this week's topic. I think it's a great topic, but honestly, there are so many books I would recommend to people. We could be here all day, and I'd be recommending, like, so many books. Now it's time for my random fact. My random fact for today is that I got my ears pierced when I was five months old, and I am so happy because... I would probably not get them pierced now. I hate needles, so I probably wouldn't get them pierced now if I had the choice. So I'm glad I got them pierced then. Uh, yeah, two random facts in one. Hate needles. Got me your space when I was five months old. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!